Guess which union leader has to go back to the drawing board after the courts threw out his tainted election results? Well, if you guessed that it was Dwayne Woods, president of Busawu, then you would be correct. I know Woods still in shock after the court handed down that ruling, but John Pinder smelled something fishy and had to call it out. I don't know what would possess you and your team to believe that it would be okay to stamp the ballot with your personal logo. And I don't know for the life of me why you keep hauling Wayne Monroe before the courts to lose case after case. Wayne is a Queen's counsel. What he should be doing is advising overly litigious clients to settle, not sue. But like they say, when you find an ass, you ride it. Wayne knows that you'll keep paying him to lose and he can keep charging the union for lackluster services because those checks never bounce. The union is always good for the money, even if Woods ain't. So now it's time for a new election. And buddy, I might as well tell you, it ain't looking good. All that dancing around like a clown to celebrate was for absolutely nothing, eh? <laughs> now you gotta go back to plotting and scheming on how you could swing the thing now that all eyes are on you. Cause it looks like they are about to cut the music and turn on the lights. Party done. And I must say that it is about damn time. Because the last time Busawu had good leadership, Common Camp was president. Now you can't be angry at Adrian Gibson. You cannot be upset with John Pinder. You have nobody to blame for this but yourself. Hopefully this brings an end to your reign of mismatching clown suits.